Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. We have a brand new best techman in town, baby. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a fantastic day and this is the best techman good boy. Would you look at it? Just look, <laughs> just look at it. It's such a good boy. Okay, so it's called the good boy and it was modeled or the idea for it was based on the golden retriever. You can look on the website and get the whole story and this, well, it is kind of the color of my golden retrievers, which is very, very cool. So this is G10 on the outside and then I'll tell you a little bit more on the inside here in just a second, but look at this. We have a deep carry pocket clip and it is inset into the G10 so you don't have any screen screws sticking out. So kudos on the, on the pocket clip. That is very nice. Very, very nice with the flat screws and it is centered baby. And it is a button lock. Did I say that? Check it out. And this button lock, it is flat. It is recessed. It does not stick out at all. I know that's an issue for some people when it comes to these. And then if I could get in here and just take a little look, look at that texture. Ooh, a little bit of texture vision for you. And it has a captive pivot. It has ceramic ball bearings and there's some jump jumps. I'll tell you about that in a second. And you do have a lanyard hole. And yeah, I'm dancing all around. I like to dance all around a little bit. We don't have to be so serious, do we? And check something else out. This baby has nested liners. So it is a nice, thin, slim knife. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and clean. I like the looks of it. I like the looks of this blade. Check it out. It kind of have a little bit of a dual grind going on here and the grind on this looks very nice. Very, very nice. Do we have sharpening room? Eh, um, I guess you could call that maybe a little bit of a sharpening tool. You'll have a couple of good sharpenings before you get up there to that plunge grind. So that's not too bad. I do like the Best Techman uh, logo. That looks very nice. This is a clean looking knife and they have, I believe, four or five different colors of this knife. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> It was, it was, uh, the thought was the golden retriever is always a good boy and always there for you. That's where the golden retriever uh, thing came from. So let's take a little quick look see here and see how long it is coming in at about 8.15 inches overall. Your blade is about 3.45 inches of sharpened length. So that is very, very cool. You got a nice, uh, what is, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it today, baby. Yeah, you're getting close to three and a half inches of blade. The height of the handle is right there around the one inch mark. And then the thickness, oh my goodness, let's take a look here. It's not even four tenths of an inch, so it is slender. In comparison with the QSP Penguin, it is definitely, this is a full size knife. The Penguin I would call a medium size knife. This is a full size knife. We'll check out the action, the ergos, and all that fun stuff here in just a second. And here is the new Civivi with the Warncliffe blade. Oh yeah, I love that one too. I love knives. Do you love knives? Tell me all about it in the comments. And oh yeah, it's smooth. Before we get into that, let's see how it cuts a piece of paper. We'll see what the factory grind does on this bad boy. Ooh, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, it's not the sharpest in the world, but it does have a nice edge. It doesn't want me to do that, the whole woo, woo, woo thing, but it is pretty good, relatively speaking. Let's try it from a different angle and see what happens. Yeah, it's it's sharp, but not the sharpest. You can't always get a laser. Let's see, um, left and right, uh, up and down. It's pretty darn solid. I'm not getting any movement either direction, so that is very good. And here's a here's a look at your lockup. Nice and distinct, doesn't have the strongest spring in the world, and you do have a little bit of jipping or milling. Oh, okay, that gives some nice grippage up here. And then it's hard for me to show you, it, there it is. It has a little bit of that micro milling going on, and the micro milling is done, ooh, yeah, it's done very well. And the ergos on this, okay. It has very good ergonomics, and my thumb is locked. You know I like it when my thumb is locked. And there is enough jimping, it's adequate. A little bit more would be nice, but the jimping is that is pretty cool. I really like that micro jimping when it grabs your fingers. The thumb studs feel very nice, very, very nice. And while we're down here, let's go ahead and check out the action. So the thumb works well. Can I reverse flick it? Yes, you can reverse flick it. It doesn't have the strongest blade retention. Um, some people would call it a detent. I don't know if you'd call that a detent on a button lock, but this would be one to get out of your pocket and very easy to deploy. I am getting a little bit of bounce from the blade retention. That's because I'm being aggressive. If I tone it down just a little bit, 
It is very, very smooth. Let's see how this works. So if I push the button and let go, I can let it shut and it will shut on its own. So pretty much you push the button and then let it fall. You don't have to keep the button pushed. So that is actually a nice feature once you get used to it. And man, the ergonomics are really good. I'm not feeling anything from the pocket clip, clip whatsoever. That is very nice. And the reverse, reverse, reverse. That's a very nice grip. I'm liking that. So overall, just, just the feel and the looks of it, the aesthetics, the fit, the finish are all very, very nice on this knife. And you know what? I don't remember it. Oh, okay. I just saw it. Oh, it's like you telling me it's not on the blade. Okay, there you go. It is D2 blade steel. So it has a nice coating and this coating it look, kind of looks like uh, DLC coating. That looks like the good stuff. So that's gonna protect your steel if you live in an area where you get a little bit of the, the, the rust going on. And on top of the good action and the good ergos, it is a very lightweight knife. Let's see how much it weighs. And you know, this it, it's kind of reminding me, I think one of the reasons why I like, I like Ray Laconico. This isn't a Laconico. This is a Keanu Alfaro design, but it makes me think of Laconico because it is a more slender knife. So if you don't want a big bulky knife taking up a bunch of room or a bunch of real estate in your pocket, this, I, I, I know I like this knife already just because of how slender it is. And it's coming in at 3.47 ounces. So it's right there around the three and a half ounce mark. So, you know, this one is not difficult to figure out whether I would recommend it or not. I think this would be recommended. Uh, my only major, not major, but my only nitpick really would be the fact that it needs a little bit stronger button so you get just a little bit better blade retention, but it's not complainable. It's just doesn't have that distinct snap as far as holding the blade in, but you can see here, I do have to give it some pull to get it out. I'm just a little nitpicky when it comes to that. The reverse flick is very good. This is a nice flickable knife. Here's a little bit of acoustics. It's a relatively quiet knife and it's not assuming. I really like this tan color or should we call it the golden retriever cover cover. And I like this, the lines going this way. You know, I really do like this knife. That is pretty cool. And when I'm holding it in my hand, my hand comes nowhere near touching that button. So you're not going to have any type of accidental uh, let go <laughs> of that blade. So tell me what you think about this. This is the best Techman good boy. And the day this video comes out is the day this knife is released. And these are running around 50 53, 54 doll hairs. I'll have a link in the description and in the comments where you can go check this out for yourself. But I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think. And then go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the comments of this video, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.